Oh look, it's Pokemon Bambi. Let's get shiny hunting before Legend ZA comes out with the 11 best Pokemon to take it down. Xerneas is a relatively strong legendary Pokemon, possessing fantastic bulk all around, 95 physical defense, 98 special defense, 126 HP. It is bulky. With Fairy Aura juicing up its Fairy type moves power by 33%, in addition to its own same type attack bonus, this functionally doubles the power of those moves. Meaning, Dazzling Gleam and Moonblast cleave straight through defenses if you're resistance, or if you're neutral to it, it functionally makes it a super effective hit. Not really something you want to be taking from base 131 special attack. And a 131 physical attack, but it is only using Horn Leech from that, which thankfully is not boosted. All in all, Xerneas is a terrifying thing to behold, as its other two moves are Ingrain, which gives it health every turn, as well as Geomancy, and for those not knowing why this is so terrifying, it doesn't need the turn of startup in order to get that. And then it is given a double quiver dance, at which point you're not surviving a hit from this thing. That is a plus two to its special attack, special defense, and speed. So again, everything is basically taking super effective damage at that point. So this thing is a very solid threat level eight. But thankfully, there's a good number of Pokemon that can take it on relatively safely, even if they don't enjoy taking it on. First among them is Kaparaja at number 13. It possesses a very good physical attack stat to 130, paired up with Xerneas' only moves, always setting a terrain when it uses a max move, it can use a very powerful Steel Roller to both rip up that terrain and deal very powerful super effective damage to the Xerneas. With Sheer Force and Flash Cannon, even though its special attack is kind of garbage, at the very least, Sheer Force can compensate to give that move a decent amount of power unless you get debuffed by Moonblast. Or it sets up Geomancy. It's not fantastic, but it can certainly hit decently hard. Though, it is chronically dependent on Xerneas using max moves. But before we get on to number ill but before we get on to number 12, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, comment below what you want to see next in the Dynamax Adventure Counter Guides. Number 12 is Alchemy, all around one of the best Pokemon to use in Dynamax Adventures as pure support with that fantastic Decorate support and Mystical Flare to debuff special attack. It only loses points as it is a bit too slow to use Decorate before an ally is capable of using its own attack, unless Trick Room is activated, which means you have to have a Trick Room Pokemon on your team, which are generally not good. But with Mystical Flare, it can help suppress Xerneas' special attack power, and it can Dynamax for G-Max Finale to help heal, to help heal allies. Not bad, not great, just all around useful. Number 11, we have Amoongus. This thing is all around quite good. While Amoongus doesn't especially excel on paper, its access to Clear Smog and Rage Powder is fantastic. With its massive bulk, it can shrug off any hit from Xerneas. It resists everything Xerneas has, doubly so resisting Horn Leech, as well as activating Effect Spar potentially. Clear Smog lets it wipe away any Geomancy Xerneas throws out, and if it gets poisoned from Effect Spar contact, it gets Venoshock, which is a 130 base power move when the target is poisoned. So even if it doesn't get off the poison, it can still draw Moon Blast draw Horn Leech, draw Max Starfall or Max Overgrow away from allies that might be squishier. When you possess that level of resistances and that high of an HP stat, that is nothing to scoff at. And again, the ability to delete Geomancy. Number 10 is our good friend Aselgar. Once more, blindingly fast, outspeeds Xerneas, Acid Spray, debuffs that special defense and it gets Struggle Bug, which helps keep down Xerneas' special attack. It still takes a lot of damage from those fairy moves, but its ability to outspeed Xerneas and outspeed allies hit it with an Acid Spray, which is super effective, so you can actually somewhat snowball with it, or even Dynamax into Max Ooze, lets it do decent amounts of damage. Again, it's not a damage dealer on its own, but it lets allies capitalize on that debuff to do their own massive burst damage. At the same time, it can keep Xerneas' special attack down, even if Bug is resisted. Number 9 is Skarmory. The only reason this thing is low on this list is its moves. It resists everything Xerneas can throw at it. Flying and Steel give it a double resistance to that foreign leech and a singular resistance to its fairy-type moves. But it is reliant on Steel Wing. 
which is only 90% accurate with a 70 base power and an 80 base physical attack stat. Not great. So while it can survive, it can't really deal damage consistently. But at the very least, it is safe. Number 8 is a Pokemon with almost the same stat distribution shape as Skarmory in Durant. The reason why this edges out a little bit more is it has a vastly higher physical attack stat, and despite a vastly lower special defense stat at 48, it is a much faster Pokemon, letting it go before Xerneas is capable of attacking and before allies attack, as well as not only being an attacker. With Metal Claw, it can do decent amounts of damage, pretty much on par with something like Skarmory has, though it's a little bit more reliable, and you can at least fish that attack boost. But it's also equipped with Metal Sound, one of the best debuffing moves. Now, it is not perfectly reliable, but a fast Metal Sound is a very big rarity. This lets it do a bit similar to something like a Selgor in being a fast debuff inflictor while having the option of doing damage. Number 7, we've got Leiron. Again, same general distribution of stats, this is the basics of a Steel type, but Leiron on its own is quite usable. Now, it is reliant on something like Iron Tail for its reliable damage, but it also has access to Steel Roller. So even if a terrain is set up, it can hit with a very strong Steel Roller. It also has a slightly higher physical attack stat than something like Skarmory. But also, much like Durant, it gets access to Metal Sound. So again, it can be a bit of support damage. Though it is slower than Durant, it is capable of taking hits far better than Durant. Because of its better special defense. Though, not by much. Number 6 is Togedemaru. This is a bit of an interesting steel type. It's relatively fast and has a relatively high physical attack stat. It actually is not primarily based on defenses. The reason it gets docked a little bit here is that it is not as well suited to taking hits from Xerneas as it is a little bit on the frail side, but it does possess a relatively strong Iron Head. Some of that does not leave it bothered by anything from Moonblast or potentially Geomancy. It also has access to Poison Jab, so if there are any special attackers on your side, it can Dynamax into using Max Ooze to support them, giving it a pretty good degree of flexibility. Number 5 is Alolan Marowak. This is because with Shadow Bone and Max Phantasm, both of which can decrease physical defense, Max Phantasm always decreasing physical defense, and Shadow Bone having a 50% chance of decreasing physical defense, on top of Flare Blitz with Rock Head, which Flare Blitz Rock Head is actually stronger than a super effective Iron Head, letting it shrug off hits relatively well and deal out pretty sizable hits. It should be known that even if you use it as a max move, it is still stronger to go with Max Flare in the long term than it is to go for Max Steel Spike leading this thing to be capable of, again, supporting allies and supporting itself with its own increasing snowball damage output. Though it is on a slight bit of the frailer side, especially speaking, though its HP isn't fantastic, it at least has a very competent special defense stat to take hits from Xerneas. But it doesn't like taking several of them. Overall, it is quite good, and quite flexible. Number 4 is Matang. This is an all-around bulky brick wall of a Pokémon. It possesses the same defensive stats, at least specially speaking, as something like Alolan Marowak does, but it possesses a vastly better physical move in Meteor Mash, letting it survive hits and deal them out decently well, though it does lack the same defensive damage boosting options that Alolan Marowak does. There really isn't too much to say about Matang, all things considered, though considering some higher up Pokemon on this list, there is a bit of an edge that the Steel types do earn. Number 3 is Double this thing is incredibly aggressive, having one of the highest attacking stats in Dynamax Adventures with actual moves that favor that stat. They're both ones that do have higher offensive stats than it, but they don't have moves that favor it well. The Blade doubles down on it with Iron Head and Swords Dance on that colossal 110 physical attack. If this thing can get a Swords Dance up, that Iron Head is going to be hitting for big damage. Though it does come with the caveat of it is very frail, specially speaking, and it is not very fast. But if it can get those hits off, they do hit incredibly hard. For number two, if you want to split the difference between bulk and damage, that's actually what Clink Clang does best. With Gear Grind and Shift Gear, this thing is capable of doing 
quite respectable amounts of damage, setting up and taking hits quite well. It also gets access to Metal Sound if you have allies that are special attackers and you want to provide an opening for them. Again, it is an all-around very flexible Pokémon. While being capable of dealing out damage on its own, it is a beat stick, but one that is quite intelligent. But all of that pales before the singular best option, Perserker! With a similarly fantastic 110 physical attack stat, its only weaknesses are its relatively low speed and not good defensive stats. But where it really comes into being great is Steely Spirit. This boosts the power of all Steel-type moves on the field. This boosts the power of all Steel-type moves of it and its ally by 50%. That means even if this thing is using that relatively weak Metal Claw. That means even if this thing is using the relatively weak Metal Claw normally, that is a 75 base power move naturally. Not even accounting for its chance of boosting its physical attack. Pair that up with every other Steel type on this list. Not even every Steel type on this list, every Steel move on this list. Clink Clang's Gear Grind. Matang's Meteor Mash. This thing immediately upgrades all of those Pokémon's power a very significant degree. Yes, it can't take hits the best, but it's more than compensated by being able to shorten fights. But Berserker is fantastic. It does just about everything other than be specially bulky, and it is a priority when going up against Xerneas as it just juices up your allies so much more. But that's all from me today. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, comment below your thoughts on the list. Do you, do you agree with the listing of everything in the order it is, or do you think that there was something we missed that is better than what we listed out? Next time we're going up against Rayquaza. Stay tuned for that.